In order to get any analytics from race cues, you need to set up the course. Without knowledge of where the starting line is and the marks, the software is unable to determine things like the wind direction and so can't give you information on your VMG or analyze your home. Once you have the course set up, all of the analytics are controlled here on the Versus tab or Analytics by selecting one of these dashboard buttons. Let's talk about the groove analysis. This is something that was actually invented by RaceQs in early 2014. I'll go ahead and turn it on and you see that nothing will happen. That's because we haven't begun the race yet as we can see here on the timeline. If we go ahead and jump forward to sailing, you'll start to see some straight lines coming out from the boats that we have selected. The groove analysis at its most basic level shows when you were sailing in the groove and when the helm was unsteady. If we look at an overview, we can see the first leg here for Bravo. Where you see a long solid line like that, that's good. That means that that boat was in the groove. A gap like this, that's a huge gap. That is a very long time to be out of the groove. And that's reflected in the boat's RQ index, which is basically a rating of how this particular boat performed on this day. Let's bring up another boat for this leg, Charlie. You can see that Charlie has much less gaps in their groove analysis. And they, that means they're also gonna have a higher RQ. They were in the groove more. But it goes a lot farther than just a visual analyzation. It's clear that after the start, Bravo was lifted and then is knocked by the time they get to the tack out here. I can see just how much whatever that shift was, wind or current, affected them by clicking on each individual segment. Here we have a course of 293, speed of 5, and a VMG of 4.7. But over here, after all these bad gaps, we have a course of 314, a speed of 5.3, and a VMG of negative 0.7. However, Charlie was on an unfavored tack for quite a while at the beginning here. If we click on this segment down here, VMG of negative 0.1. So, although Charlie drove better, Bravo went the right way and completed the leg in 1 minute 59 or 15% less time. So here's where the two boats are sailing nearly side by side. We can see that Charlie came through and had a course of 222 while Bravo had a course of about 223. We can look at the segmenteds here and see who had better boat handling. And also we can click on the tax to get detailed statistics. We can see the they lost only two seconds during this tack, where in this particular tack, Charlie lost six seconds. And it does look like overall on the leg, Bravo again won this leg, sailing it in 9% less time with, look at that, five tacks compared to three. If when you look at the 3D replay, your track looks like you're a little bit drunk and you're getting no groove analysis, it's probably due to a degraded GPS signal coming from your phone or whatever GPS you're using. This is a great example of it. We have a professional sailor here on Motorcycle Irene with incredible boat speed. But when we look at his track, his GPS track is completely ridiculous and he has no groove analysis. Where the boat he's sailing against here, you can see a more normal looking GPS track and what would be typical at this level for a groove analysis. So if you see something like that, it's probably the equipment that you're using, not your driving. The way to tell is to look at the track both upwind and downwind. If you only see the squiggle sailing upwind, then it's you. If you see it sailing upwind and downwind, you can safely blame it on your device. If you're wondering what happened during the gaps in the track, what was it that caused you to fall out of the groove? The best thing to do is to use RaceQ's GeoVids. GeoVids uses a video feed from an action camera like a GoPro and synchronizes your movements in the video to the analytics data we see in the 3D replay. So when you see a gap in your track, just go to that point and look and see what it was that you were doing. For more information, click on the GeoVids tab in the 3D replay.